Welcome back to the Rich Rice YouTube channel. In today's class, we're going to learn how to make this colorful set in gold skirt. Okay, the goddess dress, and it has this cute bow and tie at the neckline. It also has a well laid bishop collar on the neckline area. You can see how beautiful the goddess are laid, and they are really simple to make. I'll take us through how to cut and sew this in this class. If this is something you are interested in, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. For this tutorial, I'm working with um, scuba fabric. is like a foam fabric. You can see the edges of the fabric okay so you are going to be combining many colors you can also use just two colors if that is what you want but for this i'll be using this cream color as the main bodies and then for the good day i'm going to be using these colors okay i can use all of them i can choose to use some of them so i'll just see what i'm going what i'm going to use as it's video progresses so i'll just keep this good day fabric aside and then work on the main fabric first so i'm going to fold my fabric in such a way that my front my back is going to have like one inch for zipper allowance remember this is for a child and it should be as comfortable as possible so you're going to be fixing a zipper to this so the length the total length of this dress is going to be 25 inches okay so that's what i'm going to use to fold it Okay, so now I have cut out the 25 inches length that I needed. I just added half an inch to it because of the shoulder. I'm not going to sew it on the hem. Remember, this is a full fabric and it doesn't frill. So what I did was just to cut with my pinking shear scissors. You can also use your regular scissors, but these scissors give it a zigzag effect that we see on the hem there. So now I have folded it using the widest measurement, which is the chest. In this case the chest is 23 inches divided by 4 is going to give you around 5.75 so i just wanted to have like a line effect on the hem that's why i had it a little bit you don't actually need that because by the time you had the goddess in of course it's going to make the hem wider than the upper part so now from there i'll start to take my measurements the shoulder is 10 divided by 2 is 5 so here from remember this is the zipper allowance this is the center front so from here i'm going to mark five inches for my shoulder the ham hole is 5.5 .5. so like i was saying the shoulder is five inches i have five inches here on that five inches i'm going to go down by half an inch for the shoulder slope and then for the neckline for the width i'm working with 2.25 for my width and then the depth for the back is going to be one inch and then for the front is going to be two and a half inches so i'm going to connect just like this okay and here i'm going to join my shoulder slope i'll i'll draw my shoulder slope like that so here my hand hole is 5.5 like i mentioned so i have 5.5 here and on that mark i'm going to take my chest measurements the chest is 23 like i said so there by four is around 5.75 so i have it here and i'm going to add one inch for my seam allowance we want the waistline a little bit for but this child uh chest and waist is the same it's the same 23 so if yours is different and you want it a little bit shaped on the waistline you just need to take the half length measurement which is drawn between 9 to 10 inches for this age and then there you're going to take the waist measurement if it's smaller you'll be able to shape it a little bit do that including your seam allowance so like i said i just want this to have like a flare effect a little bit so i just added extra one inches so from there i'm just going to connect to the hem in a slant way like this so you can see it's just like having small a line and then here i'm going to draw my arm o curve using the curved side of my ruler so now the base of the dress is done i'm going to cut this out now and then we'll work on the girdle okay so you can see that i have cut them out now okay 
now i'm going to open it and this is what the body of the dress looks like so what you need to do now is to determine where you want your body to start the attachment so for me you can you should measure this on your clients basically but for me i want it to start from around 15 inches okay which is here okay so now if it's starting from 15 inches i'll measure what i have left here and i have about 10 and a half inches so which means when you're cutting your goddess the length should be around this length so i'm going to cut the goddess first before i start slashing this so 10 and a half inches is the length i'm going to be using to cut out my goddess there are several ways you can cut out your goddess but i want to show us one of the simplest ways you can do that remember i said mine is going to be 10 and a half inches in length so i'm using paper so that we can see what i'm doing very well so you just mark your ten and half inches like this which is here and then on this corner here i'm going to fold this in front of a triangle just like this to make the ten and half inches so after folding it all over like this what you just need to do now is to start measuring your length from the sharp corner here so here I'll measure the 10 and a half inches. Okay, I'm approximating that to 11. So I measure 11 inches all round, and I'm going to cut it out. So for an adult, you can just go ahead and use what you have cut out like this. Okay, it's okay to use for an adult, but for a child, for this particular style, this is quite big for me. So what I'm going to do now is just to divide it on this four points, this crease line that we have here. So I'll just open it out now and then cut it into half. So that is going to form a pattern for this. So if, are use, if you need something smaller and you feel this is too big for you again, so what you just need to do is to fold again and then you cut it out. But this is perfect for what I want to do. So this is the pattern that I'm going to use. So now what I just need to do now is to bring in my fabrics, the fabric that I intend to use for this. And then I will start to cut this pattern out. You cut as many as you need. So I will place it on my pattern now and then cut. Okay, so I have gone ahead to use this pattern, okay? I use this pattern to cut out the cones and like I said I'm going to be mixing colors so these are just pieces of fabric that I have left over before so I just use them to cut out my cone you cut as many as you need and then to determine how many you will need you're going to bring in your original bodies that's the initial pattern that you're working with your main bodies and then you're going to measure where you want it to start where you want the goddess to start okay so now remember you need allowance up here and to determine the allowance that you're going to use up here you just grab your your pattern okay or you can map it directly on your fabric as well once you have your pattern here whatever same allowance that you want to use to sew this usually have an inch on this side remember these are the side that we're going to be sewing to our bodies so on this side you mark the allowance that you're working with so if you are working with half an inch, you just mark your half an inch like this on this side and then you move to the other side as well and then you mark the half an inch that you are going to use to sew the other side as well. Okay, just like this. So after marking it, this point where they cross, okay, this point is actually important. That's where you start sewing. So when you want to mark it on your... When you want to mark it on your bodies, you make sure that whatever it is, whatever length that you're marking on your body stops around here. So around here for me is around 10 inches. So that's what I'm going to be marking on my body. So here now from the hem, I'm going to mark 10 inches upwards and that's where the body is going to stop. That's the first step you need to take. So I'm marking the 10 inches now and then I'm going to make it into a straight line. So after making it into a straight line, you start marking the lines, the slash lines, the slash lines that you're going to slash inside your body. So as a guide, I want to divide what I have into two to note my midpoint. So this is my midpoint. Now from my midpoint, I'll start marking one to 1.5 inches 
to this left and to the right what you just need is something that will be enough for you to sew in your goddess to sew in the goddess you are working with to your body remember you need half an inch on one side half an inch on the other side and then you can just lift a leave a little but whatever it is that you are leaving shouldn't be so big that the center lines is going to be showing after you have applied your goddess i hope you understand what i'm saying the center line should not be showing sh showing on the hem it can only show on this upper part where it is narrow so for me i'm going to be marking 1.25 that's one and quarter on on each side so now i'm marking the one and quarter like this and then i'm going to mark it on the m as well so this is one and quarter for me like i said one you can also use one inch with one inch you'll still be able to sew half half on both sides so on the hem as well i'm going to note the midpoint and then after that i'll mark the same one and quarter so that i can form a straight line so after forming the straight line i'm going to mark the straight lines and that is where i'm going to be inserting these patterns that we have gone to cut out this is a certain goal it may be a bit challenging so i'm going to try to take it to the sewing machine so that we can see how i'm sewing it it's not the regular goal that have two two lines we are just going to open the slash line just to insert the goddess so we are not opening up to the neckline area it's stopping around here so i'm going to show us how we can sew this easily as you can see now i have gone ahead to mark the straight line so each of my goddess is going to be in between each of these straight line I have about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you can do as much as you want depending on the amount of fabric you have to work with and please make sure you use a color that is not so sharp like this chalk color i'm doing this because it's a tutorial and i'm still going to wash this before it is worn because the fabrics are quite dirty so now after this what you need to do now is to slash open these lines okay you're going to open you're going to open these lines up for you to sew your goddess and then you're going to stop your opening where you have that straight line that 10 inches mark which is here okay so now we have opened it up as you can see i'm uh, going to be inserting one of these right here so now to assist you in inserting it this point is very important so this point that we have here you try to transfer it you can also just draw the lines and then mark the point or you just place this on it so that you can just note it and transfer it to that mark okay so like i was explaining you just place it on it and then note that point okay so that point for me is somewhere here that's where you're going to stop sewing in the garden okay remember when you're cutting your garden this is 11 this that we marked here is 11 inches it's 10 inches sorry you can see and the garden is around 11 inches so you can see we have this one inch that we are marking we have the allowance already so that it's still going to be up to what we need to sew in so now on this lash line this is my the wrong side of my fabric and here is the right side so now i'm going to start pinning from this goddamn point all this is not necessary but to make it easy uh, for a beginner you can start sewing it directly but i'm just trying to let make it easy for us so i'm going to pin this center point to this center point here okay right side facing right side you can see i am turning it so you can just insert your pin here i hope you can see this you can insert your pin let me just bring it down okay so you can insert the pin on that point there and then you are going to pin it on this point as well this point that we are sewing so i'm just going to pin it just to let me know that this is where my sewing is going to stop so you can see that i have pinned it and this is how i want it to be so now this part you are going to flip it and then pin to the hem just like this you pin to the hem so when you start from pinning from the hem your body and your body is going to remain on the same line but as you progress upwards okay just like this you can see you can see now that it is no longer on the same line here so it is expected that's how it's going to be and then you continue pinning it like that so 
I'll pin it. Pinning is just going to make it easier for you when you get to your sewing machine. You know where you're sewing. So after pinning this side, to pin the other side as well, you just flip like this and then you pin. So from the hem, it's still going to maintain the same level. And as you progress, you can see that you have like a dart, okay? Almost like having like a dart slash. So you can see it's no longer on the same level. So you can pin towards your bodies because that's where we're going to be sewing on. So now I have pinned it. You can also flip it to see what you have. You can see if it's okay for you, you already know that it's okay. So it's scratching here because of the pin that we use. So now I'll take it to the sewing machine so that we can sew it. Okay, so my camera stopped recording. Now we're on the machine. I've sewn a few of it. So now I have pinned. I'm sewing this particular green and I have pinned it to my fabric just like I explained to us. So normally, before you slash your your fabric, if you're working with a fabric that is not so strong, I can still manage with this fabric and get something good. But your fabric is not so strong. On this area, remember there's going to be a lot of strain around this area. Okay, I hope you can see it's where it's going to be intersecting. On this area, you can just iron a little bit of interfacing. On this upper part alone, just something very small just to strengthen and support that place so you iron your inter interfacing on this point before you slash it open so after doing that now we're going to start to sew it so like i said you're going to be sewing the upper part is your main fabric is going to be the upper part facing you so because we have pinned it it's going to make it easier for us you just place it under your machine and then you sew with the half an inch that you kept so now i'll continue sewing and moving my pin as i sew so you're going to go ahead and sew so as you're approaching that that tiny part remember when we were pinning it this part okay remember this part now is no longer matching with our body so when you're approaching that part you start sewing gently and then you narrow what you're sewing as well so now once you get to that point i hope you can see it that point where i have my chalk i can see it you just keep your needle inside then you remove that pin that we used to hold it at the at the center point you remove that pin so that that place is going to be free for you to work with so your needle is still inside then you you raise your machine foot and then you turn to the other side i hope you can see what i'm doing we started sewing from the hem when we get to this point this the start of our body you're going to raise you're going to put your needle inside and then you raise your machine foot so that you can turn your fabric so now we are turning to the other side that is still pinned and we are here to sew so when you turn to that other side you make sure that you don't have anything packing you check underneath it raise your foot make sure you spread everything out you can see everything has to be spread out you don't want it to be packing underneath there then you start to sew again so you just sew all the way to the end it's very simple if you follow this step and then you back stitch so after sewing it now if you open up your stitch you will see that it is relaxing very well so you can see what we have here it's going to relax very well and nothing is going to be packing so you can see so this is how you're going to sew it i have sewn few of mine you can see so i have just two left so i'm going to sew it now and then we'll transfer it to the fabric again so now as we can see i have gone to sewing all of my good day i can see that it is looking fine okay so i have about 11 for the front and i just mix the colors so that i can have something like this pop of color so like i was saying whatever space that you are living in between here it should not be so wide that you can see now that the you cannot really see the inner inner lines okay that we have here so it's not should be so wide that when the child wears it you'll be seeing the this main fabric on this lower part so that was what i was trying to explain and like i said remember it was almost the same measurement to use here and here but because of these insertions you can see now that this lower part now has opened up and is now more so i have done the same thing for the back 
So for my back, I just installed my zipper and then I went ahead to mark just like I did for the front. I did not insert anyone on the center back. You can also insert at your center back if that is what you want. So this is what my back looks like as well. So now for the handhold area, it does not have a sleeve. So I have cut out a facing so that I can, I'm using satin brother dwarf is brother satin is not so strong to line the arm hole so that i can clean it up i don't want to use bias if you want to use bias as well you can use bias but i'm just going to be using this to turn my arm hole i'm doing this specifically because of the arm hole because i'm still going to sew a collar on the neckline so you don't have to turn the collar but we want our arm hole to be neat so that was why i went to cut this facing so i'll go to the sewing machine now and turn my neckline with my facing then after turning my neckline with my facing so this is for the front after turning with facing i'm going to sew the shoulder together and then sew the sides together and your dress is ready remember we said we're not going to be hemming it you just need to cut off all of this thread that was why we used our pinking set chisels to have this so i'll do all of this now and bring it back to show us what we have so i have gone ahead to turn the neckline you can see the neckline is neatly turned now sorry the arm hole is turned with the facing neatly and then i went ahead to sew my collar okay there's a tutorial on how you can call it the bishop collar already on the channel so the collar just extends by around 0.75 inches because after sewing in my okay remember i have sewn my my zipper as well so this is the zipper so after closing the zipper i'm going to use buttons and i make a button hole on the upper part here you can also extend your zipper to your to your collar if that is what you want so it's totally up to you so now the last thing to do now is to fix our bow so i have made a small bow it's around six inches by five inches you can either use your main fabric for this main bodies for this where you pick any of the colors here to make your bow and then i also made a rope so now i turned the rope from here so i'm going to close it so i'm going to arrange my rope first just like this underneath it you can see i am placing it so you need to iron it so that it can lay well so after placing it like this i'm going to be placing my bow like this so for the bow i have this tiny rope that i have made to cover it up as well so i'm just going to close it with this bow and this is what i'm going to have by the time i'm done so i'll go ahead and do this now the bow is fixed now and then you can see the rope is also attached so you just need to iron this part so that it can lay flat just like this for a top stitch on it so you make sure whatever you are attaching you attach it it has to be really neat and you can see that our cones are well laid as well you don't want it to be packing at any point so the armhole is also neat and my collar is relaxing very well as well as you can see i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one Bye. Bye. Bye.